Hey! Hey, 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 how are we doing? Welcome back, I hope we are well. Today I am gonna be doing a tub shop haul. Now it wasn't that incredibly long ago that I did an autumn haul with top shop stuff in. I, I don't know, I feel like I just needed to have a fresh start in regards to like my wardrobe, my style. Not fresh start, it's still very in keeping with what I like, but I just felt like I needed a big refreshment um, and to sort of, get some, invest in some pieces that I know will last a long time and will be able to be worn like a lot. I feel like I had, I just sort of hit this reset button because I feel like my style is, my personal style is sort of changing and I just wanted to, I just want to just almost start again, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna start with this hat. Now, I have a cowboy hat which I wear a lot, it's amazing, and I love Baker Boy hats. But I just wanted to add one more hat to my collection that wasn't black. I'm a big fan of red these days, a newbie, a newbie to the, to the red because of the blonde. I can now wear it, I feel. I just didn't like wearing it with purple hair for myself. Oh, I've really got a hat here, I barely put it on my head. For my purple hair, I just didn't like it. It's not really a cowboy hat, it's, it's more of like a, a kind of a fedora but it's, it's very round and very cool so i got that which i will be using to add just a little bit of pop of color to outfits i'm i'm really feeling the more kind of monochrome side to life more recently the darker side of life don't want it to be just too black and too uh, i feel like start with like a monochrome base and build up from it by adding like dashes of color so red lip Maybe with some red little accessories, red hat, perfect. I feel like I could be... Yeah. This really cute little felt e red hat with a little trim leather little belt thing around the top there. I got a couple of pairs of trousers. I got a set of cord trousers. They're high waist, they're wide leg. I think they could be wider, just saying. In this Real nice, really chunky cord, corduroy. Really, really seasonal and good, but also a good all around pair of trousers to have in the wardrobe as like a staple, like go-to black trousers. I think the corduroy is obviously not to everyone's taste, I know, but I'm, so when it comes to style recently, I'm really like kind of honing in on a lot of like 70s influence. I don't want to dress like I'm from the 70s, like, because it's 2018 and those days have gone. I don't want to look like I've just walked out of a time machine. I just want to take influence and be inspired by a lot of the style, and I am. I'm listening to a lot of old music as well, and I just feel like it's just taking off at me. So I got these, and I, I've worn them already. They're not the most comfortable trousers. I can't bend in them, so, and I can't really tie my shoelaces up, because I could bend as far, um, so I had to have a hand with that. But they look good, and obviously I'd wear them for like a whole day, and then when I got home I'd probably put my uh, pyjamas on. But I've also got, I like what, the, what I like about them is they've got, also got belt loops as well. I didn't think they did on the picture. Um, they're a really nice fit, a nice side and a nice length. I got them in a 14. Eh. Um, so I'm really happy with those. Now I know I shouldn't really be buying more jeans because I do have a lot of jeans. I do have a lot of jeans. But I saw these and I'm, I was digging the colour and I feel a lot more braver with browns and reds these days. I just didn't think I could pull them off before. But um, these are just so autumnal. These are the Jamie jeans in a sateen, it said on the description. Sort of, oh they look really creased. They look so creased. When they're on, they don't look creased because I stretch them out. But they're in this sort of shiny, almost disco pant-esque material. Um, I love the colour and I love the material. It's, it's a bit unusual. It's a bit old school. Shiny, shiny. Um, but again, it's just to add a little bit more something to something, something, something to the outfit. I love the, the this like the brownie sort of red, but not mahogany. Is it more? No, because mahogany is more red. Again, very autumnal and very seasonal, but equally could be worn with pretty much anything. Now I wore this, and it just made me so happy for the for the combination of colours with this jumper. I feel like I probably wouldn't get rid of, ever. 
because it's so freaking nice. It's got a nice high neck and the sleeves are just sort of your standard, but the, the print is just so gorgeous. It's so 70s inspired and very seasonal and autumnal and it goes perfectly with these trousers because of, you know, picking out the last rather than Really, really cute. I wore it one weekend and I just didn't want to take it off, so I wore it all weekend. <laughs> and I, I really, really like it. It's just adorable, but it's also quite practical. It's really nice and thick. Really nice chunky knit. I just think it's gorgeous. It's so nice. Really, really good for this time of year. So that's something that I just don't think I'll ever, ever, ever get rid of. Another item that I feel was very in keeping with like me and my style, but it's perfect for this time of year, is this really nice long cardigan. It's it's really long. It's I, I got it in like a large. Oh, it's a, oh, I got it in a no. I got it in a medium. It's quite big. For a medium, it's huge. So it's obviously like an oversized, oversized fit. A few different sorts of like animal print, a bit of zebra, and then this spotted thing. And it's, it's almost like got a fluff, would you say flocked? I don't know, it's got almost like a layer of fluffy fur on top of it. This is just nice to, just to sort of wear, to make uh, like something just look a little bit more interesting, a bit more sort of texture, a, like a little focal point. But equally, it's just it's nice and practical. It's really warm, and it's it just adds a nice extra layer. I like it. Oh, I was buzzing for this. Oh, I love it. It's so cozy as well. I got a couple of these basic tees. This is a bit dirty. I got this. I've worn it already. I've, um, it's a high neck t-shirt, and it's just really really boxy. I think they're called boxy tee or boyfriend tee and um, I got it in white and I also got it in black and they're just a really good starting point for an outfit like I wore this with um, a nice black skirt and I actually wore this on top of it um, one day and it was just nice they just sort of layering it up you can tie them around the waist if you want to because they are quite baggy or you could like tuck them into trousers or like a skirt or whatever I'm really appreciating like a, a basic tee just sort of to to wear, really cash, just as a nice starting point. You can always like layer jewellery on top of it as well. I really like, I really like the feel of it and I like the cut of it. Just sort of, it just sort of beats like a regular basic t-shirt that's just like the standard t-shirt shape. These are just a little bit extra and I love the length of the sleeves. I like how it sort of fits on my arm. Lovely. Another basic is this high neck top in like a red ribbed sort of material. Um, it's high neck, it's long sleeve, and they do these in a variety of different colours. And again, I got it for the same reason, just for layering. That first layer, like, base item. And I got it in this red, and I also got it in, like, a nude flesh colour, but they do it in a variety of different colours. I thought that this would just look nice, because I'm into red, like I said, I'm into red. It's just, like, base. Basic, basic, it's a little staple, a little easy thing to wear with, well, pretty much anything, really, because although I like my basics to be very easy going, say like black, oh, I thought I would try red and nude. Got that guy. Uh, this skirt, I uh, just, like this snake skin fashion that is in the world right now, I'm kind of really relieved because I love this skirt and I would wear this forever, and I, but I know that snakeskin won't be fashionable forever, and you know, I don't care because this is so fucking cool. This is a long skirt, I'm going to wear it high waist, it's got a slit up the side, but how cool is that? I said like a fake leather, oh, and it's so rock and roll, <laughs> in it, it's so fucking cool, I love it. Um, I'm all about animal print, I always have been. But something about snakeskin, which I think is a bit that people find. So now that it's like socially acceptable to wear it more, I'm so happy. I am gonna wear it, and you know what? I'm gonna wear this, and I'm not gonna care what people say or think. So even when the season's over and people don't care about snakes anymore, I'm still gonna bring the snake out. Pretty I'm Steve Irwin, smite. <laughs> hey, snake, get out the way. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. So that is that wicked skirt. I don't know, I just wear this. I would, I'm wearing this to an event. I'm gonna wear this partying. Oh, I'll wear it if I wanna go shopping and I wanna look badass. I think it's very kind of a girl boss skirt. Would you wear that for work in the office? I mean, I would. I totally would and I'd own it. It's so nice. So again, 
In keeping with my obsession with cowboys and western country, I got a really stylish country style-ish kind of boot. And it's these white boots with this really cool heel. They're pointed, they're kind of, they go quite high up, but they fit my legs. I was really like shocked and surprised that they fit because a lot of these high-ish styles don't fit. But I, I thought, I kind of thought, knew that they would because I could tell that the material had a bit of give to it. So unlike some of the stiffer leather styles that they've got with the high leg, I was very fortunate that they fit. But they're just cool. I've got tons of black boots. It was time. It was time. Did I try some white ones? I got this blouse in an, another animal print. Crazy, but I like the fact that it's quite dark. They're like a dark orange with the black print on top of it. Um, it's really long, so it could be worn as a, a dress, I suppose, or tucked into something, or on top of a pair of jeans. Um, really, really cool. This could be worn to work, to somewhere smart, but equally, <clears throat> you could wear it unbuttoned, with a leather jacket on top, some jeans. Uh, it's very cool, very androgynous. I really like <laughs> forever struggling on how to describe clothes. Or like, like, yeah, get my vocab right. So that, my angels, is it for this top shop haul. Um, I'll put all the links to everything in the description. I'm really doubly hoping that <clears throat> they're still available. If they're not, then I'm sorry. People have snapped them up. But yeah, I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Ah.